Is your old MacBook slow and unresponsive? By any chance did you take it to Apple and get told that you should just get a new MacBook? Well, if that's the case, this tutorial should help speed up your old machine. We're going to open up this machine and put a 240 gig solid state drive in it. You'll need a very tiny Phillips screwdriver to remove all the screws on the bottom. Once those are gone, pop the lid. Damn, son, where'd you find this? You see the crap Toshiba drive we have in here kind of like uh, sucks. So, warning: do not remove the battery. Sandisk is here. Yes. Note, the weird bits on the side of the hard drive are proprietary star bits. I unfastened them using a vice grip. Once the SSD is installed, we'll reseal the machine. Okay, so now the SSD is installed, let's uh, put the lid back. So, we're obviously going to have to install Windows XP. Because that's the only OS that's any good. Mac OS sucks. But I'm joking, we're actually installing Windows 7 Ultimate. Windows 7 Ultimate Thick Edition. Oh, nice disk, yes. Okay, so you have to hold the... You have to hold the option key during boot. Otherwise, nothing will happen. After you hold it for long enough, this disk thing will pop up. Okay, so select the Windows disk. So, um, now we'll start installing Windows 7. It's a very long process, taking several hours that I have time-lapsed for your enjoyment. So... Still not done installing. And now we have to do updates. Okay, 520 updates later and here we are at the desktop. Let's see if we can run games better with this SSD. Here are some benchmarks.
it didn't do quite as bad as I was expecting. Let's see if it can use my music production software. Wow, it's working. Oh shit, the battery died already. That is probably the only con of keeping one of these old MacBook Pros. The battery life is absolutely terrible. In fact, I get better battery life out of my compact Armada 7730MT from 1997 than I do from this. So if you're considering an SSD upgrade to one of these, keep in mind, Apple makes shitty batteries. So have a charger on hand at all times when you go to Starbucks. Otherwise you're fucked. Damn, son, where'd you find this?